Hello students, welcome to Swapna Physics Classes. In this class, I am going to teach you one more important short answer question for your TS first year IPA examination. And the question is, a parachutist is flying in an aeroplane jumps when it is at a height of 3 kilometers above the ground. And he opens his parachute when he is about 1 kilometer above the ground. Describe his motion. We have to describe his motion. Okay, we have a parachutist who is traveling in an aeroplane. Who is traveling in an aeroplane. Okay, and we assume that, let us assume that this aeroplane is traveling in the horizontal direction. Okay, and whenever this aeroplane is at a height of 3 kilometers above the ground, this parachutist from this aeroplane jumps. Okay, now... The initial velocity. What about the initial velocity of this parachutist? See, if you resolve the vector, if you resolve this vector, velocity vector, we have two components. One is along x-axis and the other is along y-axis. Okay. The velocity vector along x-axis, the magnitude of the velocity vector along x-axis will be equal to the magnitude of the velocity of this aeroplane okay that means the velocity of this parachute is along horizontal direction will be equal to the velocity of this aeroplane and what about the vertical component for a freely falling object for a freely falling object the velocity will be equal to zero therefore the vertical velocity of this parachute is equal to zero and after traveling to a distance of 2 kilometers, 2 kilometers are that is 1 kilometer above the ground. Whenever he reaches 1 kilometer above the ground, he opens his parachute. He opens his parachute. Okay. <coughs> Whenever he opens his parachute, there will be a, a drag. There will be a, a drag in the opposite direction which is known as viscous drag there is a force applied on this parachute in upward direction because of the air okay <coughs> and this will be the final velocity before opening the parachute and we don't know this velocity we have to find out this velocity and to solve this problem i'm going to use three equations from equations of motion from equations of motion we have three equations that is v square minus u square equals to 2as s is equals to ut plus half at square v equals to u plus at these are the three equations from equations of motion which describes the motion okay and in these equations where v is the Final, velo uh, final velocity, u is the initial velocity, t is time of flight and a is the acceleration, s is the displacement, okay. <coughs> now, I am going to find out this velocity, I am going to find out this velocity which is equal to u. For this purpose, I am going to use this equation, why because, why because we know the displacement traveled by this parachute parachute is okay 3 minus 1 kilometer is 2 kilometers it had traveled 2 kilometers before opening his parachute okay the displacement s is equal to 2 kilometers which is equal to 2 into 1000 meters 2 into 1000 meters <coughs> and we know the initial velocity initial velocity u y is equal to 0 why i am considering u y not u x y because the motion is along vertical direction vertical component that's why i am taking u y okay and we know the acceleration due to gravity acceleration is equal to acceleration due to gravity that too in downward direction therefore i am taking plus side which is approximately equal to 10 meters per second square Okay, 
see we have u v v is the final velocity which is nothing but u v is the final velocity we are we have to find out and we know a value s value i'm going to substitute all these data in this equation okay v square minus u square equals to 2 a s what is v v is u u square minus this will be the initial velocity this is the final velocity what is the initial velocity initial velocity is u y u y which is equal to 0 u y is equal to 0 which is equal to 2 into 10 into displacement is 2000 that is 2 into 1000 meters per second square okay therefore this u is equal to square root of 2 into 2 into 10,000 okay u is equal to I am taking this outside of the square we have 2 into square root of 1000 is 100 which is equal to 200 meters per second okay at this point the velocity of this parachute is 200 meters per second okay <coughs> and now I want to find out the time of flight and I am taking it as T1. Okay, what is the time taken by this parachute reached to, tra to travel to a distance of 2 kilometers? To travel to a distance of 2 kilometers. Okay, and what is the data we have? See, in this equation, we have T1 and we know the initial velocity. Okay, and we know the acceleration and we know the displacement. So, I am considering this equation. I am taking this equation. S equals to ut plus half a t1 square. ut1. u is uy. ut1 plus half a t1 square. Okay. And what is this we have? S is 2000 meters. 2000 meters. uy is equal to 0. And we have to find out this t1. And what is a acceleration due to gravity which is 10 meters per second square okay now now I'm just substituting this data in this equation what is this we have 2000 which is equal to so this term knowledge this term becomes 0 why because u is equal to 0 plus half into what is a 10 into t1 square <coughs> 2 5 is a 10 right now you just bring this to us left hand side 2000 by 5 is equal to t1 square t1 square is equal to 5 4 j 20 into 0 0 so this will be t1 square is equal to 400 and just applying the square root on both sides to this equation therefore we have t1 is equal to square root of 400 which is nothing but 20 seconds okay the time taken by this parachute is to travel to distance to a distance of 2 kilometers is 20 seconds now and at this point the velocity is 200 meters per second after opening his parachute after opening his parachute what happens he reaches to the ground and what is the time taken by this parachute is to reach this ground and what is the velocity after reaching the surface of the ground what is the velocity we know that the final velocity will be equal to zero after reaching the ground he will come to rest position therefore the velocity will be equal to zero now we have to find out this t2 okay take this screenshot and to find out this t2 you can use any of these two equations but what about this uh, acceleration what about the acceleration here because of the air drag the acceleration is in upward direction 
which is opposite to the acceleration due to gravity right so before going to find out this t value we have to find out the acceleration here and it is not equal to the and it is not equal to the acceleration due to gravity its sign is opposite to the gravity acceleration due to gravity that means we have minus a in place of a not g why because the acceleration of this parachutist decreases why because there is a viscous drag there is a force acting in the opposite direction because of that force the acceleration decreases which is known as retardation decreasing of acceleration decreasing of acceleration is nothing but retardation retardation first of all we have to find out the value of this uh, acceleration then after we will substitute this acceleration here and we will find out the value of t2 okay so to find out this acceleration i am going to use this equation why because we don't know the t value so we can't use both these equations i am going to use this equation to find out the acceleration v square minus u square equals to 2 as where v square is the final velocity u square is the initial velocity okay what is the final velocity we have zero and what is the initial velocity we have 200 meters per second and what is the acceleration it is minus a minus a and displacement is 1 km 1 km which is nothing but 1000 meters now substituting in this equation what we have this final velocity is equals to 0 therefore minus u initial square minus u initial square is nothing but u square which is equal to 2 into minus a into s okay minus minus cancel therefore therefore i am bringing this terms towards left hand side and a is equal to u square by 2s u square by 2s now on substituting the values a is equal to what is u 200 square that means 200 into 200 by 2 into 1000 Two into one thousand. Okay, two zeros, two zeros, two to cancel. One zero, one zero. Therefore, the acceleration here is twenty. Acceleration is twenty. Twenty meters per second. Don't forget to write the units. Always you have to mention the units. Then only the physical quantity will have a meaning. Okay. So here. the acceleration value is 20 meters per second square okay now i'm going to use this acceleration to find out the value of t2 t2 i'm going to find out t2 i'm using this equation v final is equal to u initial plus a into t2 from here what is v final we have zero this will be equal to zero okay therefore a t2 is equal to minus ui minus ui right and what is a a, a is nothing but minus a in place of a we have to take minus ui because it is in upward direction which is opposite to the acceleration due to gravity therefore minus a t2 is equal to minus u initial nothing but u it is u okay therefore t2 is equal to minus minus cancel u by a which is equal to what is the value of u 200 and what is the value of a 20 cancel 200 0 therefore t2 is equal to 10 seconds the time taken by the parachutist 
after opening his parachute to reach the ground is 10 seconds okay now the total time the total time taken by the parachutist to reach the ground whenever he jumps from the aeroplane after jumping from the aeroplane the total time taken by the parachute is to reach the ground is t1 plus t2 which is equal to 20 seconds plus 10 seconds is 30 seconds total time taken is 30 seconds okay here i, I will end our lecture and whoever didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe please subscribe and like and also share with maximum number of people okay bye